my name's Matt, and <coughs> we are getting a lot of requests for uh, Danny's cloak in season seven of Game of Thrones. So we thought we'd make a quick video just to show you how um, how we go about doing it. Um, we do the pleating, uh, nothing else. We don't make the cloaks, um, and I'm just going to describe what we do uh, and narrate the video for you. So the first thing you can see here is a cardboard mould and this mould is called a flat chevron. And you see the amount of lines and folds going into that one piece of card. Well, there's two pieces of card there um, and that one mould should ta normally takes us about a week and a half to two weeks to make. As you can see there's two pieces of card within the mould. One at the bottom, one at the top. So the first thing we do is we pull the mould out as flat as we possibly can um, and then we get our fabric. Um, we're using here a polyester taffeta um, I think the original was made out of paper silk, but uh, polyester is obviously a lot cheaper. And we just got to line up the fabric to the edges of the mould um, and try and get it as flat as possible. Um, if it wasn't flat, then afterwards the effect wouldn't look exactly the same. And in effect, what we're doing is trying to force the fabric into the shape of the origami cardboard mould and then you'll see in a minute the top mould will come over the top What Terry's doing now is just trying to get the mould as flat as possible and you can see the, the fabric sandwich in between the two cardboard moulds and then we need to shuffle that together and to do that we need to put a load of weight on top of the top mould and we, we do this using these sticks. So we take the weights off the end of the mould and we unclip from the bench and then very slowly, very carefully, we shuffle the mould back into the shape of the pleat. The moulds themselves are all made by hand. Um, we have markers, uh, so we know how to make the same mould over and over and over again. Um, they would generally last about 10 years before they disintegrate too much. And as you can see where Terry's put his hand there, the, the, uh, the cardboard is starting to get a bit weaker and uh, it's starting to disintegrate slightly.
so once we push the mould together as much we roll it up using a roller and that keeps the mould in place during the steaming process The weights we use are old uh, irons from back in the 19th, 18th, 19th and 20th centuries. And next thing we do is put them in a steam cabinet, put the mould in a steam cabinet and uh, this sets the polyester in place to give you a permanent pleat. Once the mould is taken out it's left to cool for about an hour and then all we need to do is just reverse the process and take the fabric out of the mould. And there you go. There we have the dragon scale effect that you see on a cloak. The next thing we have to do is uh, fuse a black backing onto the back of the okay, fabric. and this just helps keep the pleats in place There you have the finished article.